you can search for records via the search bar here at the top of Salesforce. This is known as global search. And you can search across either all records or individual accounts, campaigns, et cetera, et cetera. So you can kind of hone in on your search. But a lot of times it might be helpful to just search across all and see where, for example, someone's name appears. I'm searching for Jim and you notice that we have top results and then you can scroll down. It'll take you to these different areas and top results would be contacts. And then you've got accounts. It's a fuzzy search as well. You notice I searched for Jim, but it's pulling in James. There's James 431 and Raymond James. So there is a fuzzy search where if it's close, it'll pull it in as a potential match. And then you can expand the list back and see if there's other matches. So if I go back to top results here and you can see a list with the numbers of how many matches in your org for various things, you can show more as well. And you notice here under contacts as well, we're pulling in some James. And so one thing you may want to look at is especially across leads and contacts, sometimes there will be duplicates there. One hasn't been converted over into a contact as well. So that's a good way to find potential matches whenever you're searching. And then if you're searching for like a company name, for example, I'll show you what that looks like. Delphi is the company name here, Delphi Chemicals. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter in the search results recommended search result here at the top but then also you notice that there are no matching accounts and uh, we don't have a Delphi chemicals account in our org because this is a lead record here you notice that this is a lead instead of a contact so this is the company field on lead not a uh, relatable object to account it's just a field on lead so let me look for a good example of accounts so let me search for Shaw because I noticed there's a SHA-160 account, and there's three accounts here, five opportunities. Now these opportunities are for the SHA account, but they have the word SHA in the opportunity name as well. So you can then just access whatever records you wish from either accounts or opportunities in this example. And there it's just a matter of selecting the desired record and going from there. So if you found this video helpful, please do like and subscribe and please leave a comment for what you'd like to learn about Salesforce and I might make it my next video. And until then, I'll see you in the cloud.